Do you think underwater tunnels are simply dug out beneath the sea? In reality, the construction process is far more complex than you might imagine. When building tunnels in deep sea environments, the most common, safest, and most efficient method is the immersed tube method. The idea isn't to dig under the sea, but to build on land. Workers first cast massive reinforced concrete tunnel sections in a coastal prefabrication yard. Each section can be over 100 meters long and weigh tens of thousands of tons. Once completed, they are transported to the designated location using special floating cranes and tugboats. To prevent capsizing, buoyancy tanks are attached to both sides of each section to help maintain balance. Under precise computer and positioning system control, the tunnel sections are slowly lowered to the seabed with the help of guide cables. When they reach the target depth, hydraulic systems are used to align and connect them with the previous section. The gap between two sections must be kept within 10 cent Centimeters, with a final alignment error of no more than 15 millimeters. To make the joints watertight, thick rubber seals are embedded at the interfaces. As the two sections are pressed together, the seal is squeezed into a groove. Then, water between the joints is pumped out to create a vacuum, locking the segments tightly together. Once all sections are connected, a complete underwater tunnel takes shape. To protect it from ocean currents and seabed erosion, workers backfill the top with layers of stones and sand, and sometimes even plant seaweed and corals to help restore the marine ecosystem. However, not all underwater tunnels use the immersed tube method. In coastal areas with stable geology, engineers often rely on the shield tunneling method. This approach uses a massive tunnel boring machine, TBM, that operates entirely underground and is highly efficient. At its front is a huge rotating cutter head, sometimes over 10 meters in diameter, which slices through rock and soil like a razor. The excavated material is then carried out by conveyor belts. Behind the cutter head, a series of train-like compartments handle tasks such as installing concrete linings and injecting grout for reinforcement. As the TBM slowly advances beneath the seabed, a fully formed tunnel takes shape behind it. Best of all, this method has minimal impact on the surrounding marine environment.